gosh, what an absolutely That's massive really play to start play. the game. If he gets rid of the stage, he gets the one hit KO! Hey everyone, welcome back to Fight For First. Did you guys miss me? Maybe a little bit. I took a break uh, over the weekend because thanks to you guys and us deciding and talking about it last week, we have decided Fight For First will continue going for glo <laughs> global domination. I sound like some kind of evil henchman. And we're gonna keep going Monday through Friday, noon. It's always a little afternoon. Monday through Friday, noon, Fight For First, Fight For Fun, Two or three times a week, starting once my fight for fun layout gets done by my uh, graphics guy. Uh, this guy, Chessman Jr. on Twitter. Amazing dude. Hopefully he gets around to it eventually. I don't know. I think he's been busy. But as um, soon as that starts, two or three times a week, either on the weekdays or the weekends, we're going to see. Doesn't matter. Guys, today, whew, big stuff's going on. Thousand likes, guys. I'm still going to do challenges as long as it doesn't affect the team. Because if you start messing with the team, we're definitely going to start losing more than I'm already about to lose. So... Thousand likes, I'll do the number one like comment in the comment section below. It sounds like fun, isn't it? it sounds like fun. Um, just gotta get them before I shoot the next episode, which should be by tonight. So go ahead, smash that like button, or don't. That's cool too. This team, guys, it looks like the team we've always been using. I've made some modifications. Um, there are two things that this team was weak to. We used to have Ditto instead of Celestila. There were two things that this team was weak to. Mega Scizor. And Mega Lucario. So now Mega Lucario still dunks on me. And in fact, you can see we're down 10 points. We're down 10 points. I actually had a, a bad streak. I played Friday when I was drunk and I had to climb a lot. So I had to get back. So we're down 10, but it did come out with this. Uh, we did end with this idea that we we're going to need Celestila. So here it is on the team. What is that guy doing? I have no idea what any of that shit does. Uh, this is really exciting though. Okay. His Raichu is because he knows Tapu Koko dunks on his life. So he's going to lead the Raichu. He's going to lead the Raichu. Porygon comes to every game that we see uh, Salamence. That's just how it works. But how are we going to beat Celesteela? My Celesteela can probably beat his Celesteela. I also use Mimikyu sometimes to beat Celesteela. But which one's better? Can Beware hit me? If I bring Celesteela and Tapu Koko, though, I can't beat the Raichu, can I? Can I? I need to beat the Raichu. I really want to bring my Celesteela. Okay, if I bring the Celesteela, which I think is a good decision. Well, no, I think it's a good decision. He's got some slow stuff. And I have to bring Porygon. Does that mean I do... Do I have anything else that can beat his Celesteela? Or that isn't weak to Raichu? Maybe my Mimikyu? Because the Raichu's got to come. Look at his team. His team is so weak. So I've got to bring something else I can deal with the Raichu because... Tapu Koko is not going to win that matchup. He'll two-shot me before I two-shot him. Um, even though I have HP ground. And if I don't bring Coco, I need something else to deal with. The stuff that Coco would be beating. I'm going to hope that Porygon can somehow beat his bug. If he brings the bug. What is that thing called? Araquanid? The thing's strong, guys. Although it's usually Assault Vest in singles. Or at least sometimes. So uh, It beat my Tapu Koko one-on-one before. So I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy stuff. It's crazy stuff. It might have been my Tapu Lele. Either way, it was surprising. 1800 from Japan. It's probably their AM right now. Yeah, there's the Raichu. Is it just, your whole team's weak to Tapu Koko? Of course you're gonna lead the Raichu. Um So Shadow Claw definitely super effects. If it's a one shot, I'm gonna I'm just gonna pop it. I'm just gonna pop it because I think he's gonna stay in to stop my disguise. Uh let me see if I can't get some calc going. I wonder if I have enough time. I do I should have enough time. Raichu and Mimikyu. Um, regular Shadow Claw does, but also plus two. Plus two Shadow Snake will as well. And I'm thinking at that point, it's all the same thing, isn't it? Because then I could just Shadow Sneak him. Although if I get the Raichu down, then we're in great shape. Although if he goes to sell a Steeler right now, I'm going to kick myself. I didn't go plus two. I'm going to go plus two. I'm going to plus two. Yeah, we're going to plus two. Because he might switch. Okay, so he's going to Vault Switch. So it's a good thing we didn't Shadow Claw here. Because uh, Raichu goes down. I think Celesteela has... He has a hell of a time trying to KO Celesteela. Um, he'll probably have to use Salamence. And our... Our uh, Porygon's really, really happy about that. Carbink. I have no idea what this thing's going to do. I have zero idea what that thing's going to do. 
Um, looks like I do no damage to this thing no matter what. I might plus four it and then use my ultimate. My ultimate attack. What do you guys think? What, what's the worst thing this thing can do? There's no way Carbink's going to KO me. He's not going to trick room, right? I think he thinks he can just tank it, so I'm going to Swords Dance again. I, I've never seen this thing. I barely know its name. So whatever it does right now is going to be surprising to me. Okay, it's just going to Moon Blast here, but we should tank this. At least one. We're max HP. Okay, so part of me wants to go plus six, but I don't know if he's faking it. I don't know if he's faking it right now. <laughs> Let's pretend my attack goes to 140, because that's what it does. I will pick him up with Shadow Claw. Should I just do that before I take more damage? Or do I go plus six? No, there's no point in going plus six. His last one's got to be what? Salamence? Even if it's Celesteela... My Celesteela should win if I, especially if I hit it once with this Shadow Claw at plus four. Beware is still gonna go down. I mean, it just looks so tasty. Like, it looks so tasty to go plus six. What do I do on Salamence if I'm plus six? I guess is the big question. Like, would, it, would that Shadow Sneak do anything more? Not incredibly more. I'm not gonna risk it. I don't know if he's trying to fake it. Like, he's got a move that can almost KO me, because. He could, like it's flash cannon, but it doesn't one shot me. So he's trying to fake like, oh, you'll be okay. And then I go to Swords Dance again, then he KOs me and then we lose the game. So I think this is just a safer play. We don't actually need this to KO in order to not lose this game. We can still win if this just does a lot of damage and this should do a lot of damage. I actually got to hold A for additional damage because that's worked since uh, 98. Potential chance to one shot, sturdy of course, yeah. So he also has that. So what is, what? Figgy Berry? Oh, you're still gonna die. That should be a Figgy Berry. Trick Room's gonna come out. So he's got Beware as his last one. Is that is that what we can say? We've seen Trick Room. We've seen the Citrus. We've seen a Moon Blast. Shadow Sneak here definitely picks him up at plus four. Uh, Beware is what type? Normal fighting. So he's gonna kill me before I do anything anyway. Especially if I take more damage. So I think this is worth a Shadow Sneak. Unless it's the... Unless it's the the bug but we're gonna have this big shadow sneak damage no matter what so i'm gonna go ahead and do it i really like the theory of trick room because if an opponent's getting out of hand they almost always add speed to it dragon dance you know kind of thing so salamence gyarados if it's ever getting out of hand if you get up a, a trick room you can actually deal with the problem so i think it's kind of a cool safety strategy but i don't know if this is working he might use carping just because it's got sturdy and trick room because well no because gyarados gets around that <laughs> yeah, there's the beware. Yeah, it had to be beware. Okay, so we have no option but to just try to hit it. Um, it's going to kill us, but at the same time, like, it's it's slow. What are we going to do? I'm not really going to switch out. Because I do think Porygon can beat the Raichu if we need to. And I might have survived this. Oh, shit. If we hit this, we're one. I hate everything. I hate everything. That was just a guaranteed win. Shadow Sneak win. I'm going to go sell Steeler right now. Set up. The Raichu's going to be fast. If I can get a Leech Seed sub thing going, I can win. We'll save Porygon. There's no reason to bring it out against Beware. Beware has fighting type moves. We'll save Mimikyu Shadow Sneak to pick off the Raichu in case we need it. He Earthquaked. Hopefully he Earthquakes again. We're up in the air. It'll be great. Really sucks. Really sucks that we missed that. Because that was game over. Mm-hmm, there's Earthquake. Now, 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 Raichu's fast. I'm gonna set up Leech Seed first, just in case he's trying to attack me. I can't imagine he's got something he can't hit me with. And the fact that Trick Room's up means that I can get this up, and then if he switches, I can get up a sub, and I can stall him out and actually beat the Raichu one-on-one. -on -one. Celesteel, as long as we land the Leech Seed, will beat this Raichu one-on-one, -on -one because Trick Room's up for us. Okay, so it's gonna stay in. I'm really afraid that this thing has an answer, but then again, I don't think it does. Like, Hammer, I'm strong, but, like, I'm also a Celesteela. Yeah, see? Yum, 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 yum. So we'll take that. Then we'll take this. And that's why I didn't want Porygon out here. So Celesteela is basically our answer to beware. Okay. Here's the deal. 
Oh, Twisted Wedge is returning normal? That's fantastic. Does he switch? How much does my regular Shadow Sneak do? Because my freaking Porygon is freaking so offensive. Shadow Sneak into Raichu. Looking at 75 to 90. That's pretty good damage. I think with the Flamethrower, I would pick up the Raichu. I'm going to Flamethrower here. Um, flamethrower for other Celesteela. Steel on Steel. Beware has that fire ability where it has physical damage, but it takes additional from fire. So I'm going to do that. Because if he switches to Raichu, we're okay. Yes, he thought I was going to protect, and this is why I did not protect. There's the Raichu. Shadow Sneak doing 75 to 90 is kind of really good for us. There's Flamethrower. Would have been better if I had subbed, actually. But at the same time, that's going to be enough for my Shadow Sneak to get him later. Um, here's the big question. Can Alolan Raichu set up? Because I want to protect. I want to get more health. Because I'm going to have to switch in onto Beware later. I want to get more health. He hasn't seen Protect. I assume he thinks that I do have Protect. Well, no, actually, he hasn't seen Sub, so he doesn't know if I'm Protect Sub. He might assume. He might assume. I do have Leftovers still, and I would love to get the Leftovers health here. That's Shadow Sneak range, but Beware can switch in onto Mimikyu, but it is also slower. So how much do I have to have to, uh, damage on Beware for another player to KO it? Oh, shit. Another player off only does 35 percent because beware's ability i'm gonna protect here i do have porygon i'm going to save it in case he does a funny switch here with the right this might be a vault switch actually now that i think about it he's gonna t-ball okay because here's the deal oh well we're gonna have to make a good call like we don't have an auto win anymore he should switch to beware he should He's not going to. That's a mistake. Um, beware, superpower. We take it. We take it. We don't take it amazingly, but we take it. Oh, you know what we got? We have Trace. So I'll have to sacrifice Mimikyu if I can tank a couple of these Thunderbolts. That was a crit? We're okay. We're going to be okay. Because you know why, guys? Well, first of all, oh, if he hadn't crit, I would have just been able to Toxic. I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover. Here's the deal. If we take his ability, if we take Fluffy... Because that has physical damage. Superpower doesn't even two-shot. He's going to Vault Switch. Okay, we're going to go back up to close to full. <sighs> I think this first time, I'm not immediately going to switch to Mimikyu. I think I'm going to actually go to Celesteela. He, he should Hammer Arm, and therefore you would think that Mimikyu is the better play, and it... Well, if I go Fluffy, do we just win the game? I could go Mimikyu. No, but Mimikyu's got one play rough on him. He does. I mean, even though he missed the first time. Because the Hammer Arm's going to do damage. It's going to do big damage. But at the same time, I think he thinks that I know that. And he's going to Earthquake to KO the Mimikyu. Because that's his only move to hit Mimikyu. So if I'm him, I Earthquake. So I'm going to go to Celesteela. If he Hammer Arms, we still tank it. And I still think that with Trace, if we Trace the Fluffy, I think we win barring a crit. So that's how he's going to beat. Never mind. So he's going to try to beat the Porygon like that. We're going to have to be careful. Um... I'm going to Leech Seed in case he stays in to hit me. I think he might switch. Oh, we take those. Thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Should have been our win turns ago, turns and turns ago. But like, you know, you got to sometimes can't trust Mimikyu, man. Dude, if you can't see someone's actual face, you can't trust them. That's just, that's like common sense. We pick up a big dub. Pick up a big dub. 1800, not too bad, not too bad. Um, we were in the top 250 globally before. Oh, there's two people ahead of us that we're still number one in the U S but there's two people ahead of us who, um, one's Canadian one's Aust one's French. They passed us. They're both at about 19, 1876, 76. Yeah. So we we're ahead of where we were last time. <sighs> I do like Celestila. You guys just saw it. Welcome. Welcome to the new, uh, the new and improved. 
Snorlax is dead weight except for against this Glalie shit that's going around. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. Um, it just goes out and moodies a bunch and then you can never hit it and it's so annoying. Um, so that's why it's on the team. I never bring it unless I see that. Cloyster was the other thing. Cloyster is a freaking threat to the team. And I really want to put one on my team. He's got Tapu Bulu and he's got Jesus. Look at that team. It's really good against Tapu Coco. Like the whole team is good against Tapu Coco. In theory, in theory, Porygon's really good here. How do I stop Tapu Bulu? I'm going to say Celesteela is my answer. So I'm bringing Porygon and Celesteela. That makes me kind of nervous, though. It's not a lot of offensive threat. If I go... Can't bring Gyarados because Bulu shuts it down no matter what. Even if I plus one, it's going to shut me down. So I can't do Gyarados. Which really sucks. Um, if I bring Coco, that's two things weak against the Marowak. I gotta go Mimikyu. I gotta go Porygon, Celestia, the Mimikyu. What do I lead? I'm leading Porygon. <sighs> I'm leading Porygon here um, just because I think he'll probably lead incorrectly. If he brings Celesteela, if he doesn't bring Celesteela, we're probably in a pretty decent position. I want to get rid of his Coco. Well, okay, the Cloister is what's scaring me. He liked Celesteela. Why would you do this to me, man? Why would you do this to me? So I want to trace Beast Boost. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so I do believe my Celesteela wins one-on-one. -on -one. At the same time, I'm going to get... A free damage let's get up some free damage i have a little bit of speed so i should outspeed the cell steal this will give me a good read on his speed i'm really hoping i don't have any speed in this porygon and i was absolutely wrong thank god that freaking breaks that's gonna be really annoying you probably thought i was gonna go to my cell stealer um, how much speed am I running? Oh, Jesus. It's faster than 83. I'm screwed. I thought 83 would be an... I used the Porygon to test my... <sighs> Thunderbolt again. I don't know, guys. I'm not used to finding Celesteela that are stronger or faster than my Porygon. That's like 20, 25, or 24, 32, something EVs in there. Um... Now that I know he's going to protect, it's got to be the Leech Seed set. I'm going to get him another Thunderbolt. He's going to Leech Seed this time. We'll switch after that. Oh, he doesn't want to deal with that? Interesting. You think that's Superpower? That doesn't do anything. Hmm. What's his game plan? Leech Seed? Maybe this is what he's going to Leech Seed with? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to Toxic you because the more times you come in, the more damage you're going to take passively. Even though you'll heal a little bit with the grass. Or Wood Hammer. I'm going to take two. I take two. I don't take two? What do you mean I don't take two? What do you mean I don't take two? Is that choice banned? Is that choice banned Tapu Bulu? Wait, guys. I'm... I should be max defense. On what planet is this man living? Holy God. Holy... God, um, okay, theoretically, Celesteela can take this. 
But theoretically, Porygon 2 could take that too. I've never seen... I mean, it's not even... The, the damage doesn't even make sense here. Oh my god, it's gotta be banded. That's gotta be max speed, max attack, banded. Yeah, get the shit. Get the shit out of here. Get out of here, dude. So, um, Toxic was an interesting choice. <laughs> you think it's Celesteel's coming in? I got Flamethrower. I don't know if I want to show it yet, though. Uh, I might sub. Yeah, I'm a sub. Yeah, I'm a sub. I don't think Tapu Bulu gets access to, like, a physical electric move, because that will probably dunk on me, but... Yeah. Show me your Celesteela. <sighs> That's your answer? That's gonna be questionable. So, in theory, if this was slower than my Porygon, what do I do? Obviously, you Leech Seed. You Leech Seed, and then he has to deal with it. It's not slower than my Porygon. I have no idea how that happened. But Leech Seeding here is probably going to turn up nothing because he's probably going to sub because he probably thinks he's faster than me because he's obviously put in speed to do so. And he thinks maybe I'll protect. So I just go Flamethrower aggro. We're going to get the burn. He also has Flamethrower? You douche. That was my secret tech. That Leech Seed there would have been great unless like this actually does real damage. I am modest, by the way. I don't think he's prepared for how much damage this is actually going to do. <laughs> I'm a, this is my one shot on Mega Scizor, and you literally need that much special attack. So, unless he's max special attack and gets a crit, this flamethrower should probably make him have a really bad time. He's probably gonna protect. Eh, I'll get, I'll get leftovers too. We got the same, I like how we got the same thing. He's gonna leech seed. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because here's the deal, let's say I don't pick up the KO, I definitely switch, he should Leech Seed again, but then I'm going to get Porygon, I'm going to get the Porygon back at... <laughs> Dang, that was nice. I, I think it was a roll, I think it was a roll, like I'm not going to lie, like, it looked pretty close to me. He can't go to Bulu, well if he goes to Bulu, it means we got to be like really, really afraid of what he's got. Um, but the thing was, if we didn't KO him, we go to, oh Jesus. Oyster. This is what I'm afraid of. This is the thing that I'm most afraid of. I just gotta do damage. I just gotta get him into Mimikyu KO range. Yeah, of course he's gonna Shell Smash. Hopefully it's Focus Sash and not Mental Herb. Don't be Mental Herb. So this will do decent damage. He will get Leech Seed health back. I didn't know. Oh, I had the plus one. I had the plus one. I didn't know you were such a beast. I didn't know you were such a beast. It's because it's because I'm um, Cloister Special Defense is fucking 66 at level 50. And that's with like four investment. Oh my god. Let's say he was plus two. How much damage could we have expected? Yeah, Icicle Spear could KO. Only 6.3% chance to KO, but it could KO. And boys, you know what this means. You know what this means. Well, should I? I'm gonna lose the plus two if I go out, but there's no way he can KO me, right? There's no way. Please don't be able to KO me. He's faster than me, but please don't be able to KO me. Oh, yes. I didn't know we had a gameplay against Cloyster. I guess it's plus one flamethrower from Celestila. Is it normally enough? With the Shadow Sneak, it was going to be guaranteed enough. Which is awesome. Awesome to know. Without the plus one. Without the plus one. Okay, so that's our new game plan against Cloyster. But we have to have it out on the field when he sends it out. Guys, quick. Recommend me something that can wall Cloyster no matter what. Plus six Cloyster. Yeah. Please. Because I have no other game plan. But we pick up two wins. Not going to save that video because that was too pleb. Let's take a look at our score, boys. 
1886, we take those. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. 1900s tomorrow. Come, let's watch. Let's do it. Like the video, like a comment, make me do a challenge tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning back in Monday through Friday at the 12 p.m. PST. Everybody, let's get to first in the world if we try hard enough. It's not going to happen. But we'll do our best, okay? If you guys have any recommendations for the team, I'm more than willing to, uh, more than willing to listen. And other than that, hopefully you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. Peace. Feeling kind of strange, feeling kind of off. Don't know what's really going on.